Welcome back. It's time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Today we're talking about structural heart disease. With me here today is Dr. Faraz Alani. Thank you for joining us. And this is the medical director of the Covenant Structural Heart Program. Now, uh, speaking of structural heart disease, what exactly is that? So structural heart disease is a disease process that involves the structure of the heart. So what is this heart structure made out of? If you think about it, Jamie, the heart is made out of chambers, mm -hmm. walls, and valves that govern control of the blood throughout those chambers. Mm -hmm. So any disease process that involves these structures would be considered a structural heart disease. Now that's not to be confused with structural heart program, which is a group of physicians that is made of a army of cardiologists, interventional mm -hmm. cardiologists, echocardiographers, heart surgeons, anesthesiologists, and a group of professionals, nurses, and, and cath lab techs that all work together to provide therapies for patients who suffer from structural heart disease in a minimally invasive way. Okay, now Covenant offers several procedures that help uh, with this. Uh, can you tell us about TAVR? That's one of them, right? Sure. So transcutaneous aortic valve implantation or replacement is what TAVR stands for. Okay. And this is a therapy that's been offered to patients who suffer from aortic valve narrowing, which is one of the main valves that govern blood control out of the heart. People who suffer from aortic valve narrowing, in the medical term is aortic valve stenosis, mm -hmm. are usually offered therapies by virtue of open heart surgery. However, as we all know that about a third of the population who suffer from this condition cannot be offered surgery for multiple reasons. Either they are inoperable or they're considered a high surgical risk or moderate surgical risk. Those patients can be offered TAVR where it involves growing, going through the groin area and implanting a valve percutaneously, meaning through the skin, mm -hmm. and without having to the need to have an open heart surgery. The, usually the length of stay in the hospital is about one day on average, and the patient go home the next day with a normal functioning aortic valve. Wow, okay, and there's another procedure that reduces the risk of stroke. That one is called Watchman. Tell us about that. Sure. So the Watchman procedure is again one of the main therapies that's offered within the structural heart program. What it is, it actually has to do with plugging the structure, part of the chamber that is attached to the left atrium, which mm -hmm. is called the left atrial appendage. Okay. In patients with stroke, this appendage becomes a source of blood pooling. And as we all know, when blood pools and stays in one spot, clots develop. And since that left atrial appendage is connected to the left atrium, clots could then float off the appendage, get into the main chamber, and then get to the brain and cause stroke. These patients are usually offered anticoagulation, blood thinners. However, we know that a lot of our patients today cannot take blood thinners because of risk of bleeding, because of risk of, um, of, of surgeries, needing, have, needing to have surgery, and there are multiple reasons why they cannot take blood thinners. Yes. Those are the patients that can be offered the Watchman procedure, which in summary, briefly involves going through the groin, plugging that left atrial appendage with a device that looks like a corkscrew, mm -hmm. and it gets wedged into the appendage isolating the appendage from the left atrium, therefore no more blood pooling, no more clots, and no more strokes without the need of having to take blood thinners. Wow, okay. Now, uh, what's next for Covenant Structural Heart Program? So in our uh, program, uh, structural heart uh, program in our, uh, in our hospital is, is of course the, the first and the most comprehensive uh, program in the, in the Tri-City uh, Bay Region Lake area. What it, we, we have done is, is when I, uh, about six months ago, I took a sabbatical leave and I went to a fellowship training in the Structural Heart Program and I have now accepted the, the duties of medical director. Awesome. We are thriving with my colleagues and peers to continue to provide the excellence and the quality of care to our patients at home locally without the need to have them transfer out of the region. There are a lot of advancements in the structural heart program that then tackles the mitral valve. We also have um, um, procedures that involves alcohol septal ablation and there's a lot of variety of procedures within the program that can be offered to our patients who are considered high risk or inoperable suffering from structural heart diseases. Wow, that is great. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank and you if you much. would like any additional information on today's topic, just head on over to the Hotlinks page on WNEM.com.